Hey guys, I was getting ready for bed and I'm just so sick of it because it's like faith alone and Christ alone. They don't get it. And the gospel is simply that Christ died for sins, was buried and rose again on the third day. And they're still saying, well, believing's not enough. Well, then there's nothing else but works. Like, I listen to this guy, man. Another Calvinist. I want to know what it is to believe because I'm required to believe in order to be saved. Mm -hmm. Simply trusting your Savior to save you. And this world is so full of crazy ideas about what believing yeah, is. Yeah, like his. Believing a doctrine. Some doctrine. Just believing a fact, like he died for your sins. It's not enough. Lol. Not enough. Not not enough Did he hear that him? he died, or that God himself came in the flesh, laid his life down, paid a sin penalty, so that we could all be redeemed to the Father. That's not enough. Lord. Okay, our stupid self-righteous works LOL. and faithfulness and obedience is supposed to help that? Get out of here. I'm so sick of them belittling the precious blood of our Lord. Yes, sweetheart. That is worse, sir, than Windows 1.0. Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> I'm going to give you all the verses on believe. Okay? John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. We're believing on him. We're trusting God, his promises. That's what Paul tells us all this time. He brings up all the promises in the Old Testament, how it would be a better covenant. It would be by his grace, his mercy, not by works of righteousness we have done. Salvation is for him that worketh not, but believes on him. His faith is counted for righteousness. I've said over and over again, you have God's righteousness imputed on you by faith, or you have your own, like this guy, trying to do whatever he thinks he's doing in his flesh. It's just ridiculous. John 14, 6, Jesus said to them, I am the way, the truth, the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. We must be on that foundation. Okay? His death, burial, and resurrection. John 6, 47, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me has everlasting life. But that's not good enough. They call him a liar. They're going to throw all these out. They're going to take some obscure verse that he taught to the Jews under the law to show them how they failed in keeping the law to say, see, you got to keep the law. They just can't get it. All right. John 5, 24. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death into life. John 3, 36. He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life. And he believeth not on the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. Okay? Who does it abide on? Those that don't believe. Okay? He doesn't believe. I think it's John Piper. He doesn't believe. And he still questions if he's saved. Am I one of the elect that are going to persevere to the end? We're preserved by God. We're kept by God. He who began a good work in us will finish it. Sorry, I was getting ready for bed. All my makeup came off. All right. All right, John. Okay, Acts 16, 31, the famous, they said, believe. He said, what shall I do to be saved? Believe, believe on the Lord that. Jesus Christ and you shall be saved in thy house. He went and preached to the whole house, the Lord, it's and they Lord believed me. and they were saved. Okay, that wasn't enough. Get out of town with that. All right, John 8, 24, I said, therefore, unto you that you shall die in your sins. Why? If you believe not that I am he. Okay? When you don't believe, you're going to die in your sins. When you do, you won't. Okay, that's his promise, all right? Romans 10, 9. That if thou shalt confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, you shall believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved, okay? Believing is it. Easy or hard, it's belief, okay? I don't care if it's hard or easy. It's what God tells us to do to be saved. So I'm going to listen to God's way. Okay? Because it's the power of God unto salvation. Romans 8, 28, and we know that all things work together for good to those that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. Second Peter, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering. Uh, so we're not willing that any should perish, but it all should come to repentance. What is that repentance? A change of mind to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? God grants us true repentance to come to the knowledge of the truth. That's in Timothy. All right, 1 John 1, 7. But if we walk in the light as he in the light, we have fellowship with one another in the blood of Jesus. His son cleanses us from all sin. Okay? Now, I've explained many times. Our service, what we do with that gift, 
all of that. It's about inheritance, rewards, and being a good witness and keeping Satan from attacking us and destroying our lives. Okay? God chastises his children, which means to train or to bring back in line. It's not, he's not going to beat you up. Okay? But he simply saved us by a free gift. These people act like his death, burial, and resurrection was nothing. But it's the power of God unto salvation. It's for them that worketh not, but believe on him. Their faith is counted for righteousness. Not by works of righteousness we have done, but by his mercy he saved us. I, I don't know why they keep saying this trash. Okay, it has nothing to do with salvation. They take things that are completely irrelevant to salvation and make them salvation verses. It is faith alone, in Christ alone, by his grace. If you were trying to earn it by something you're doing, your imperfect obedience to the law or whatever, you were outside of grace. Grace is of none effect to you and Christ is dead in vain. I am constantly warning you. Paul tells us that, okay? We do not rely on ourselves at all for anything. Believing, 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 believing. Christ is asking for faith, 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 okay? That's the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. We didn't see him rise from the dead, but we know he did, okay? Because God granted us that true repentance to come to the knowledge of the truth. That Christ died for our sins and was buried and rose again on the third day. That is the truth that saves us, okay? I don't, I don't care what these false prophets say. They're bad trees with bad fruit. They're in sheep's clothing. They look good. They got their doctors of theology, and they've educated themselves into being spiritually retarded because they can't understand a simple salvation verse like, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. Or in Acts where it says, the Holy Ghost gave no such commandment. Okay? They don't get it. Faith alone, in Christ alone, you simply trust your Savior to save you, renew your minds daily, be in his word. Of course we should serve him. He saved us. But the love can't grow for him if we're constantly preaching this conditional trash. There is no condition. He didn't ask anything, okay? Now, because he saved us, we should live our lives for him. It's our reasonable service. But does service save us? No, nothing we do saves us. It's all him, people. All him. I'll just keep pounding at home. People can't seem to get it for some reason.